Okay, so we're, here we are, we're in the library, and which is where everyone wants to be, of course. And we're going to be working with um, uh, Therese uh, Dickman, who is our music resource uh, par excellence uh, here for our 501 class. So, ma'am. Thank you, John. Yes, I'm Therese Dickman, the fine arts librarian. Uh, I was a music major as well, so I really welcome you to our uh, program here at SAUE. I thought we'd start today by talking about the library homepage, our web page. Um, that is going to be your portal to many of our electronic resources. The web page changed at the beginning of fall semester 2014. Uh, and if you see, uh, just if you do a Google search, you can type in Lovejoy Library or you can type in the URL www.siue.edu slash Lovejoy Library slash, as you see it here at the top. You can bookmark that if you want for uh, easier access in the future. Um, and you'll it'll automatically open up to search for books, DVDs, or other library items in, the, in, the, in our collections. Um, but let's start first by seeing what's on the left side of the page. Our hours for the day are given first. So today we're open from 7.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. here in the summer. And special other hours or uh, holiday hours, if you're interested in those, um, click on this link, special department hours, and those will appear. Right below there is uh, the Ask a Librarian box. and since this is an on, if you are in an online class, as many of you are, um, this would be an easy way to communicate with me and other subject librarians here at Lovejoy Library. So you can easily uh, type in your email or text message, and we see it as an email message. So whenever you see this green box state that we're available, then someone is monitoring the Ask a Librarian chat service and we'll respond as quickly as we can. If the librarian who is on duty and monitoring the uh, chat service cannot answer your question, um, you can, they, they would direct it to me if it's a, or, or possibly another colleague who has music background experience. But just keep that in mind, it's very useful. Many students do use it. By scrolling down, we also have a number of quick links um, the A to Z list is one of the most popular, which is why it's first. We'll talk more about that later. Um, we have access to research guides, and there is a music guide that I am developing that is accessible here. I also have another research guide that I have available for your uh, class as well. Um, many times those are embedded in a Blackboard course, so you can easily link to our library databases. Um, for instance, if I, t if I were to type in music, we have a music events calendar. If you want to see what's going on in the, here in the area or in the St. Louis area in terms of music events, uh, the music guide that I am developing looks like this at present um, with uh, links to our music special collections, our National Ragtime and Jazz Archive, which are both here at SAUE, and our digital LIS collections, of which there are several music collections as well. Then at the top you have tabs to help navigate to different databases and resources. So these are some of the databases that are useful for journal searching. Uh, we'll start with finding books and ebooks. So this is an alternative to using the library homepage. Um, going to a library libguide, otherwise known as a research guide, can be helpful in saving you time later. Okay, let's try it this way though so that you know how to use uh, the home page as the, our navigating starting point. Okay, so when looking for books, DVDs, and more, the home page opens right up to that option. So let's say we're trying to find a book about Percy Granger. I like doing a keyword search initially. Uh, if you don't spell the name correctly, you may get nothing. So if you don't get any results, check to make sure that the name 
or the word that you're trying to search for is spelled correctly. And in this case, we do have 24 results. If you want to see the most recent book, you can sort up here at the top. You can select newest first, and it will automatically change. And off to this, the right of the page, we have our facets, which allow you to search more quickly to a, a, a format or by author. Um, you can select by topic, which is a, a, a more specialized subject heading. If you're getting a lot of um, other language materials and you want English, you can select the language English and so on. So in this case, if I was looking for a book, by clicking on the facet book, I get those more quickly. And notice one of the first ones that comes up is an ebook. We have been purchasing ebooks for probably about the last six years or so uh, pretty intensely here at Lovejoy Library because more and more classes are offering um, online components. And it does enable a student to, to access that book wherever they they are with, with internet access, whether that be home or work, um, somewhere else outside the, the, the campus itself. And if you uh, are here on campus, you can easily access these here in, uh, in the library or wherever you prefer to study uh, on campus. Okay, so if we were to look at this Wolfram Miller's book, notice that the call number is ML410.G75M41992. We use the Library of Congress call number system here at Lovejoy Library, which is used by many university libraries um, as opposed to the Dewey classification system, which is typically used in public libraries. So fortunately, here at Lovejoy Library, the music materials are kept in the music area of the building, which happens to be on the first floor of the library on the east side of the building. And if you're not sure where that is, um, we have maps that help you find that. So if we go back to the library homepage, the way to get to maps, um, go to the fourth tab at the top, more resources and services. Scroll down until you get to Maps, Floor Plans, and Parking. And in this case, the, the last link here is for the floor plans. And I'm going to select First Floor. If you have a mobile device, this works the same way as well. These are mobile-friendly web pages. Just click the file, and here we go. So looking at this, the uh, rear entrance is actually the north side of the building. The main entrance, which is facing the, the quad and the university center, is the south entrance. The music area is on the east side of the building, as I mentioned, and this was recently renovated. So I encourage you all to come and see it if you haven't been in to see the, the library and the music resources um, in the last six months or so. So um, at any rate, the music materials, anything be, that has a call number that begins with M, M, L, or M, T will be found in that area. The music reference materials are just to the left of my office. Um, Doug Meyer also has an office in the area um, just adjacent to uh, the music books and um, either of us can, can assist if you come in person or call. Um, the listening stations, there are three of them if you want to come in and listen here. Um, of course, many of you can easily listen to music at home as well in ver various means, which we'll talk more about a bit later. Okay, so let's return to the library homepage. So let's say you want to see what other books there are beyond what we have here in Lovejoy Library. Our online catalog is the UFIND catalog. 
It's our local catalog, as you see here. But if you want to see what's available in the statewide system, you can go to the top of the page or the bottom of the screen and select all iShare libraries. iShare is our uh, statewide catalog, so the various university libraries uh, all contribute to the iShare catalog. So if I do my search Percy Granger as a keyword search, um, I could also do it by author to see what materials Percy Granger um, authored or composed in the case of compositions, or I could do a subject search about Percy Granger and the materials about him as well as materials that he authored uh, would appear. But I'm just going to do a keyword search. It's the most like a Google search that you would find. I've got 965 results, which is more than I want to go through. So in this case, I'm going to save my entry and do an advanced search this time. This gives me several boxes. I'm going to enter Percy Granger. And if I'm looking for something on free music, notice that I have the option to change these to and, or, or not. These are called Boolean search operators, and you'll find these both in our online book catalogs as well as our journal databases. What the, the AND does is combine um, both Percy Granger and free music in this case, and the, the system will search for those two uh, keywords and only give results that um, pertain to those two elements. If I were to say, Percy Granger or free music, that expands my search. That would give me everything on Percy Granger plus everything on free music, whereas the and search gave, narrowed my search and made, it only gave me the materials that pertain to both. Um, and then the, other, the last option is a not search. If I were to say, my greatest example is, if I were to say apple, not fruit, that would be the way to find information about apple Incorporated, the computer network company. Okay, but I do want us to do an AND search here. Click Find. And I get 37 results, much better than 965. I mean, our time is valuable, your time is valuable. Um, so we'll let the computer work for us. Again, I'm looking for a book. And this one here from 2010 is one that we do not own here. Um, and this shows the libraries that do have a copy in the state. So fortunately for us, as students or faculty staff of SAUE, we can request these books ourselves. In order to request a book through the iShare system, you need to be registered in UFIND uh, in, in the, the system itself. So. In order to do that, you need to go back to the library homepage. And remember, it automatically opens up to the book searching form. And underneath the search box is the Login Create Account option. So click on that. Um, if you don't have an account, click Create New Account. And you'll need to fill out this basic easy form. Um, what tends to give people the most difficulty is the Bower ID box. So go ahead and fill out the, the first part. Um, the password that you create will not change in 60 days. Um, it will stay with you for the duration that you are here at SAUE. So make it something that's easy, easy to remember. Jot it down. Um, if you happen to forget it, you can change it in the future. Um, or they will, they will email you later if you request it. But for the borrower ID, you'll have to put the two numbers in there, sets of numbers. The first is 21811, which is the SAUE identification number, immediately followed by your 800 personal ID number. Uh, that also appears on your student ID card underneath the photo on that ID card. So both numbers are there. Just make sure that you put those with no spaces in between. At the end, then just scroll down 
and, and select SIU Edwardsville, and then submit. Okay. You know you've succeeded when your name appears in the upper right hand corner. So let's go back and I'll show you how you would request this Percy Granger book. Um, as I mentioned before, you are able to see which libraries own a copy of the book. And you can select which library you request it from, or you can say request first available if it doesn't matter to you. I often like to go with a library that's geographically close. So in this case, SAU Carbondale or Eastern are look attractive to me. So since Carbondale is probably the closest, I'll select that. I am not logged in at the moment, so I will do that. I use my EID as my username. And see, now I am logged in. Uh, my name appears. So if I select SIU Edwardsville and request the item, the pickup location should automatically go to SIU Access Services, which would be the library's main circulation desk at the main entrance of the library. If I click Request, I have just requested that book. Okay. Okay. And then I can search under My Account, and it will show what I have requested. Okay. I'd like to add, the, the, there's real value to registering in UFIND, um, and there are three major reasons for that. First of all, you can email this record to yourself, so you get all the bibliographic information you need for citing the work later in a paper. Um, you can renew this book through the system. Um, once you're logged in, you can see the books you've checked out and easily renew them by selecting the title and at the bottom it says it will say renew selected items. Click on that box and it will extend your due date. Um, for undergraduates, normally it's four weeks. For graduate students, it's eight weeks for a checkout period for a book. Um, and then the third and most important, well, the third reason is that you can request books from other libraries from the state of Illinois. There's one more. Uh, catalog that is useful to students, and that is WorldCat. Um, WorldCat is accessible most easily, I think, from the library's homepage. So if you go under the library book search form, you'll see the, the link below it. Click on that. I usually go to the advanced search mode, and if I do the similar search, Percy Granger, And I'm going to say keyword here. Since this is a national and interna international uh, database with more than 72,000 libraries participating, you want to be a little more specific with this database. Um, this is particularly useful to um, upper undergraduates and graduate students with your research if you need to go beyond the holdings in, in our library and the state libraries. Um, you can request a particular format. So if you are looking for a musical score, for instance, um, you can specify that. Um, if you are searching for ebooks, it's probably not the best place to look for an ebook because usually ebooks are purchased for a specific library. Um, so that's better to search for and you find. Okay. Um, do a search. And notice that you recognize this, the second item here is the one we just uh, found in iShare. So, and it shows that iShare uh, does have a library or libraries that have copies of this. So, in this case, the best thing to do would be to request the book yourself um, through iShare. Here's another one. So you can just take a look and see what's, what's available. Um, there's a, another book here on free music. The, the, the beauty of WorldCat is it does link back to iShare if 
they, if the item is available in our consortium. And if not, you can see who else has the book outside of Illinois. As you can see, the University of Delaware has it, and it goes beyond to Australia. It, it will give you the selections in proximity order closest to SIU Edwardsville. And if you did want a copy of this particular book, you could select Request to Interlibrary Loan. Um, in this case, if you haven't ever used ILLiad, our Interlibrary Loan system, um, you would need to register in that system as, as well. So in this case, it uses your EID and password uh, that you use for Blackboard. And it will automatically put the information from the WorldCat record into the request form. If there was a, a book in iShare or an iShare library and it was checked out, you could state in the note field, not available through iShare. So our interlibrary loan staff would know that um, you did look through iShare and could not find a copy available that way. Then they will place the request for you and um, if they can't obtain the book from the, the first library they try, they'll keep trying until they've exhausted their possibilities. Okay. You will then receive an email uh, informing you that, that the item is, has arrived and you would pick that up at the um, library's, home, library's main circulation desk. Okay. So it's, it's really not difficult, but the first time you go to use it, it will prompt you um, if you haven't um, created a, an account, it will give you a, a, a form to complete so that you um, can then use the system again in the future. And with this system, if you ever request any journal articles that we don't own, um, this is the way to obtain articles, journal articles, um, and you would retrieve them usually as PDF scanned articles here on the left side under electronically received articles. So don't be afraid of requesting materials through Interlibrary Loan, through ILLiad. Um, it's really easy to use and We'll be glad to help you if you have any questions about that.